Hello and welcome to another tutorial on XNA. In this tutorial, we're just going to continue working on our gun data class and specifically our get element, I mean, a uh, load gun database method. And uh, my mic is almost dead, so if I cut off and yeah, that's probably because my mic died. So I probably can't make too much more uh, after this. So yeah. Uh, Okay, so now we just created our get element class, I mean method, to get uh, a string of an element of whoever, whatever name we want. So that's very helpful. Uh, so now we want to get all the gun methods. So I'm going to add uh, one thing. Just save this int int starting point equals and we're going to copy this s dot index of uh, stuff and I'm just going to paste it in here and I'm going to replace that with starting point and I'm going to replace the other one that's the same with starting point also and I'm going to put an if statement here and if, if starting point equals negative one I mean does not equal negative one it's going to perform this and when when uh, the, when you're trying to find the index of a string in a bigger string and if it returns negative one that means it didn't find it so what we're basically saying here is only if you find that string in in that string then uh, return this output otherwise and we're just going to uh, make output blank. Otherwise, it should return a blank string. And what we want to do is say uh, int new starting point and let's see. Let's say while. make a new list here list of strings and we're just going to call this uh, gun strings gun strings so new list strings while gun strings dot add no it actually doesn't make sense add a new string called a uh, temporary string and you'll see what this does now. So it while temporary string equals get element. You know what? This doesn't it's not really gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna put while true. And I'm just gonna put you know what? Sorry guys, I'm losing my train of thought. So temporary string equals get element gun out of guns out of gun database string and a starting point is new starting point. And by default we're gonna make new starting point equals zero. So it starts at the beginning of the string. Okay. And I wonder if there's a way to also return a number, an integer. I guess we'll have to just do that manually. Let me see the time. Okay, so temporary string equals get element. Yeah. Okay, so then what I want to do is add this at the end of the while loop and then and here we're going to say while temporary string does not equal a blank string and since temporary string by default is equal to a blank string string uh, I'm just going to paste this at the bottom and put do so what that basically does is make sure 
that this loop happens at least once. So uh, temporary string will be changed to something. And then here, I'll say if temporary string is not equal a blank string, then we're going to do something here. We're going to add a new string to gun gun strings. So gun strings dot add temporary string. So it's basically just going to search through all the guns and add all of these elements right here. So that's basically what it's going to do. Uh, yeah. So I why don't we go ahead and test this right now? So in our play component, if we have one of those, uh, do we have one of those? No, we don't. It's probably in my other game. Okay, so in our load content me method, I'm just gonna put uh, gun data dot load gun database, and yeah, put a breakpoint there, and I'm gonna start debugging this. Unfortunately, I can't use the F10 hotkey to step through this because if I do, uh, it's going to stop the recording. So, unfortunately, I have to do this. So, reader, using reader, okay. Our gun database string equals null right now. Now it equals the whole string. So, let's go view this. Okay, that looks right. Uh, so, that's what that variable equals. Actually, one more thing I forgot to do. Uh, we're going to have to edit this gun database string a little bit. So gun database string equals gun database string dot replace. And we're going to replace all new lines with blank stuff. And copy this. Actually, it can't be characters. So just uh, instead of single quotes, put double quotes. And we want to do this with carriage returns as well. And any other weird characters that we don't want to deal with and we don't need. So like tabs, things like that. And uh, do we need extra spaces? Oops. Let's see. No, we don't really need extra spaces. So we can also get rid of spaces. So just replace all spaces with nothing. So now if we step through all of these, our gun database should look a di little bit different. So that should make it a lot easier for our program to parse. So now let's uh, get to the parsing part. So it's going to see do that at least once. Temporary string equals nothing right now, so it's just going to skip that. And now it's going to get the element, so we can step inside of this method and uh, find out if we get a starting point. Starting point is six. Okay, so it found something. And let's look at this output. Uh. You know what? I don't. That's not exactly what we wanted. You know what? I think it might find the thing at the beginning of the string instead of at the end of it. So what we have to do is actually go in the beginning here and add this. And we want to do the same thing for here. Uh, actually, we don't need this. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we do. Let me think for a while. Okay, so what we want to do is put these in in uh, parentheses, the starting point plus the length of that starting tag. So we're going to subtract that from the ending point to get the length. And we also want to subtract uh, the length of that string 
from the starting point so we don't get any weird stuff so uh, so far it was working pretty well I'm just gonna run this again check for any uh, bugs stuff like that so let's go ahead and step through this again starting point is 6 again and this time our output okay that's not what we want yeah instead of subtracting you're supposed to add this right here I forgot to do that uh, just gonna run it one more time we are running a little bit over but let's see if we can uh, just get past this point and yeah that's exactly what we want uh, get rid of those gun tags and just get all the elements in between there so yeah so that's exactly what we want this method to do and it's just going to add all those to the gun string so I hope to see you in the next tutorial uh, please give a thumbs up comment subscribe and yeah thank you thanks for watching bye